Hi guys, welcome to another Chamavelli Maths tutorial. Mr Gordon here. We're going to be looking at some of the new GCSE content that's been passed down from the A level. So if your grading system is from 9 to 1, then this is the stuff that you're going to have to know for your, your Maths GCSE. Um, we're going to be looking at three things and I'll cover each one in a separate video. They'll all be in a playlist, so make sure you watch all three. Um, the first one is this one, functions notation. The second video will be about composite functions and the third will be about inverse functions. So let's have a look at functions notation in general. So when you're in primary school, you were using functions and you probably didn't even realize it. So you may have had something like this, a function machine, and you put sort of numbers into it. There'd be a rule. So our rule here is plus two. That's our function. That's what our function is. It's something that's going to change our inputs. Something's going to happen in the middle and then some outputs will come out. So you put one in, you'd add two, and the output would be three. So you put two in, the out, add two, and the output would be four, and you get the idea. Put three in, you add two, three. So basically what we're saying is three goes through the function and out pops the number five. Okay, so the function was to add two each time. GCSE style, this is what you, you, you should be familiar with. This is what you can expect. So we, we use X and Y at GCSE generally. And we pop in, so we've got a function inside, so here's our function, y equals 2x plus 3. And we're putting in a value of 4 for x. So we enter the, the x value of 4, it goes in, and it takes place um, of the x here. So it would be 2 times 4, which is 8 plus 3, and then the output is 11. Alright, so we can think of this, there's a link here between these things. When we're using function notation, it's very similar to what we've done before it's very similar to this but instead of having a y we're going to use um, like an, an f of x notation so you can see it down here f of x so that's instead of the y so you can think of f of x as as the y value in this situation here similar you've got an x value so you put three in the function it says here the function f is to square whatever the x value is so we put a three in it gets squared by our function and out pops 9. 3 squared would be 9. Okay, so let's have a look at some examples. Things to remember. Remember what I said about this is the old GCSE style, and the y has changed to f of x. So you can see it's just the same thing, but the f of x replaces the y value. So bear in mind that when we put x values in, so the x, it says f of x here, and it's, it's sort of saying to you, right, whatever we're going to have our input as, then we can put it here where the red x is and it will take the place of the red x within the the function itself so underneath you can see if you were to put if your x value was 4 it would say f of 4 and you'd have to put in the number 4 wherever you saw an x in your kind of like your your function here so if we were putting 4 in you'd have to do 2 times 4 plus 3 and you would get 11 very much like the example we went through so let's go through a slightly more complicated example You've got a function up here, and we've got two, x, two x's in our function. We've got one here, and we've got one there. So bear that in mind, there are two x's in the function. Question A is asking us to work out what would be the output of the function if we were to put 3 in instead of the x. So you see how the x, the x here has changed to a 3, which means we've got to change all the x's to, to 3's. And the second part, I've, I've included like an algebraic example as well. So part B, we're not putting in a number where the x is. We're putting in like a different expression, so a different, a different algebraic expression. So instead of replacing the x with a number, like in part A, we're replacing the x with some more algebra. So let's look at example A, and I've put it up here. So again, just to remind us what the function was, it was 3x squared plus 4x. And part A was saying, right, put 3 in place of the x and see what the value is. So you see, you can see what I've done here. I've substituted in the 3 where I, wherever I see an x. So instead of here, it's 3x squared. So I put 3 times 3 squared plus 4x. So I put plus um, 4 times 3. And I put them in brackets. And I would always recommend that you put them in brackets to show where you're putting in uh, the values for x. And then it makes it a lot easier when you come to work it out. So that's why I try and work this out. If it was non-calculator, we'd have to do 3 squared, because remember, bid math says you have to sort out the indices first. So 3 squared would be 9 times 3 gives us 27. 
So I can bring that value in here. That part there is 27 plus 4 times 3. Now 4 times 3 is going to give us 12. So we've put 3 into our function and so far we've got these two values. Add them up and the output would be 39. So you could just, just write f of x equals 39. The, or Similarly, it would be almost like y equals 39 in the, in the old style of functions that we used. But it would be f of x is 39. Second part, we're using some algebra here. So just in the same way, all you have to do is replace all the x's with whatever is in the function box here. So you can see x has changed to 2x. So wherever I see an x, I'm just going to put a 2x and then we can work it out. So again, sort out the indice parts first. You've got to do 2x squared. Now people tend to make mistakes here and just put 2x squared. But remember, it's everything in the bracket squared. So you've got to do 2x multiplied by 2x. So 2 times 2 is going to give me 4. And x times x is going to give me um, x squared. So we'd actually have... 4x squared for that part here. So this, when you square this bracket, you get um, 4x. But then we've got to times it by 3. So what's 4x squared times by the 3 outside? Well, that's going to be 12x squared. So let's swap this out for a 12x squared. So the whole thing equals 12x squared. Let me just pop that there. The second part is 4 times 2x. Now, 4 times 2 is 8. So that's going to be 8x. So we've got 12x squared plus 8x, and we can't simplify that any further. So that's where we'd stop with that question. That's the, the answer. f of x equals 12x squared plus 8x. With the first example, if it was on a calculator paper, let's just get up the calculator, and we're going to type this in exactly as we see it here, just to make sure that we can, we can do this on a calculator. So you can just type in 3, uh, pop your brackets in, put 3 in here, close the brackets and squared, plus 4 times, pop your brackets in and put a 3 in there. So you can see if you write it with brackets, if you enter it into the calculator in exactly the same way, and I really, really recommend using brackets when you do this, and press equals. So the answer we get is 39 if you were doing it on a calculator. You may have to put multiple values in and work out the the outputs so it's nice to have it in this form because you can just go back and if you've got a couple of values to do you can just go back in and edit it so if we had to put five in instead we wouldn't have to type out the whole thing again we could just scroll back through using our calculator button and you know change our values just to just to check it okay so I want you guys to um, have a practice so if you've downloaded the uh, the worksheet I've made a worksheet that goes along with these videos a practice worksheet these questions will be on the worksheet. If you don't have the worksheet, just pause the video and have a go at these questions. Try them without a calculator first with the numbers and then you might want to check them with a calculator. And then I will put the answers up in a second. So pause the video now. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at those questions. Um, I'll put the answers up. So the answers to these were, were are here. Okay, so if you put 3 into this function, you should have got 4 times 3 which is 12 plus 3 is 15. And if you put minus 2 into this function in place of x, you would have got 4 times minus 2 is minus 8 plus 3 is minus 5. And if you put x minus 3 in where the x is, you would have got 4 lots of x minus 3. So you would expand the bracket to get 4x plus 12. You've got the plus 3 on the end as well. And then so you have to simplify the numbers. So 12 add 3 would be 15. Similarly over here, slightly more complicated function. Put 5 in. So you've got 5 squared is 25 minus... 3 times 5, which would be minus 15. Work that out, you get 10. Uh, put in minus 10 in, so minus 10 times minus 10 is positive 100. You've got the minus sign there, which you've already got here. And then 3 times minus 10. Now, 3 times minus 10 is minus 30, but with the minus sign that you already had in the expression, you've got two minuses next to each other, and two minuses make a plus, so then that would give you 130. Check that on your calculator if you got it wrong by doing the brackets uh, method that I showed you earlier. And the last one is putting 3x in. So 3x squared. Remember what I said. You've got to square everything in the brackets. So it would be 3x times 3x, which gives you 9x squared, uh, minus 9 times 3x. Well, 9 times 3x is going to be... Uh, sorry, 3 times 3x. Excuse me, we're up here, aren't we? 3 times 3x is 9x. So it would be 9x squared minus 9x, 
Um, I hope that's been helpful.